So what do we have here? Um, September 2021, trial examination, grade 12 mathematics. Uh, we have a log function here, and it has an equation h of x, which is equal to the log of x base a. And then um, 7.1 says, let's calculate uh, the value of a, right? So these kind of questions are very repetitive. Like all the time when a log function comes, they ask almost the same exact questions. Is it that you will find a log function or you will find an exponential function? They are always almost the same all the time. You're going to have to find the value of A, which is part of the equation. And then the way you do that, you take a point on the graph and you substitute it. And then it becomes easy to find A. So there's a logarithmic rule that we're going to use in this question uh let me show you the rule i'm talking about so we say in that uh log of a base b if this is equals to c then a is equals to b to the power of c this is the rule we are going to be using so let's do 7.1 so 7.1 we're going to substitute the point on the graph like we say right so let's substitute point p point p uh, the x value is a half and the y value is minus one and then don't forget we have an, uh, our equation here h of x right so if we substitute that point in place of y or h of x we have minus one and then that will be equals to log of uh in place of x we have a half and then the base is a right now it becomes extremely easy to see that uh, after you substitute point p you can uh, find a with ease so how do we find a we are going to use this uh, log rule so to say that we're talking about so now we can say that um a to the minus one will be equals to one divided by two right so how can we determine a if we write one divided by two in such a way that it has an exponent of minus one then we can drop the exponents and equate the bases right so we're gonna have a to the minus one uh being equals to two to the minus one two to the minus one is the same as one divided by two so now you can see that uh, the exponents are the same, so we can drop them and equate the bases. So we say that a is equal to 2. So our equation h of x will now become uh, log of x base 2. So now when you have uh, this 2 here, you can try substitute the x value of p and see if you get minus 1 for the y value of p. And then if you get minus 1, then you know indeed what you did is correct. And then if you don't get minus 1, there is a mistake you've made. Let's move forward and do 7.2. So 7.2 is saying, let's write down the equation of uh, each inverse uh, in the form y is equal to. So how do you find the inverse of a function? Well, the first step, you swap x and y, right? So you swap x and y. And then the second step, you solve for y. And after you have done that, you are essentially done, right? So let's see what we're talking about. So we know that h of x or y is equal to log of x base 2. So let's go ahead and do step number 1, which is to swap x and y, right? So in place of y, we're going to put x. Then this will be equal to log of. In place of x, we put y and then base 2. So now we solve for y and after we have solved for y we have essentially found the inverse of our function so let's do step number two so for step number two we're using this rule again that i showed you up there so we're going to say that two to the power of x is equals to y so let's just write it uh, nicely right y is equal to 2 to the power of x so y is equal to 2 to the power of x is the inverse of our function h of x right you just swap x and y and then after you swap x and y you solve for y and let's do 7.3 7.3 saying write down the domain of the inverse of h uh, the inverse of h is clearly y is equal to 
2x right uh, the domain of a function it's all the x values of which the function is defined right clearly y is equals to 2x is defined everywhere right if the numbers are extremely large getting closer to infinity the function is defined if x is zero the function is defined and even for all negative numbers the function is still defined now we can say that x is an element of a real number right any real number y is defined the inverse of h of x or you can write it in this <coughs> notation right uh, so we're coming from minus infinity all the way to infinity our function each inverse would be defined uh, but what about this function let's say g of x is equals to um, 1 divided by x what about this function what's the domain of this function clearly you should see that at 0 this function is not defined because we cannot divide by 0 right so when the question says uh, let's find the domain you just don't write minus infinity to infinity it depends on the function you have to analyze it first and then 7.4 7.4 is saying determine the values of x for which h of x is less or equals to minus one so when you have a log function or you have an exponential function you basically substitute the equation of that function and solve it uh, algebraically right uh, versus if you are dealing with a trig function a trig function is more complicated that's where you have to analyze the graph but then here is safe to substitute uh, the equation so let's go ahead and do that so we know that uh, each of x is said to be less or equals to minus one so in place of h of x let's substitute log of x base 2 uh, being less or equals to minus 1 again this question we're going to apply this uh, rule right and then if we do that we get x is less or equals to 2 to the minus 1 right uh, 2 to the minus 1 we already say that that is 1 divided by 2 so x is less or equals to 1 divided by 2 so we need x to be 1 divided by 2 or less right but then that's not all let's look at our graph in the sketch here i want you to realize something log is not defined for zero going down right so the value of x always has to be slightly above zero so that uh, log can be defined right so here we're just gonna add that uh, the value of x needs to be slightly above zero